Polis. It's definitely one of the best rallies we've seen so far in this first set here. Yeah. And that's the third back row attack from Baldwin Wallace, and they'll get the point. Yeah, it looks um, like the libero was limping there in the middle of the play and then fell to the ground right when the play was over. Yeah, he, he did have one of his own players run into him at the beginning there. So I'm not sure if it maybe happened there and he played through the point or if it happened near the end. I mean, that was and we'll go to a break and be back after they help him. To rise above the competition, generations of Wittenberg Tigers have been encouraged to reach down deep for something more. More than skill or strength, more than precision or power, they were asked to do something extra, something beyond themselves. They needed to Tiger up. Coined by a Hall of Fame coach and chanted repeatedly for decades since, Tiger Up serves as the rallying cry for championship teams and All-American performances. It calls us to greater determination and an unwavering spirit. To wear the red and white of Wittenberg is an honor, a tradition of excellence to uphold. So is the opportunity to Tiger Up. It's more than a phrase, it's a legacy that binds us, uniting us in victorious celebration and spurring us on. All right, so they help try and libero Hunter, ha Hunter Haas up. Looks like he walked it off a little bit and will stay in the game. Looked like maybe possible knee, but they got him up pretty quickly and looked like he just had to walk around on it a little bit. Bancaro with the attack, kept up there. And that's gonna be, oh. Haas standing in the game, still limping there. Saw him get up. That's gonna be a four point lead now for Baldwin Wallace. So this, the box is And attack from trying off the block and out. <laughs> Looks like the libero for trying to stay in, but he's, I don't know how much longer he'll stay in. Very yeah. obviously still limping. I mean, as a coach, I'm thinking about what my options are here. Yeah. And if he should stay in. And, it, and I think as a player, you would want to stay in because you know it is that the conference yeah. tournament but it's and also I, hard i mean you can tell he's hurting yeah. i mean but i also think it's a hard decision for like him and the coach as like this could be the last game of their season exactly because um let's see haas is a senior too so I'm sure both of them knowing it could be his last, last game match. Ever. I mean, yeah. It would definitely be interesting to see how the rest of this match goes for Haas, though, whether he comes back in, stays out. Maybe they go to another player as libero. Yeah, But it looks sure. like he's going to stay in, at least for the rest of this set. It's going to be 23-21 Baldwin-Wallace. 
and it's going to be Shrine serving. It is Kevin Boncaro serving for Trine down two. And the serve is long. It's going to be set point for Baldwin Wallace. And serving for them is number four, Brandon Long, the senior setter from Hinkley High School in Illinois. Boncaro off the block and long, trying to stay alive, trying to get back in it. They're gonna have two more chances to try to hold Baldwin Wallace before they score here. The set, the attack sent right back to him. Baldwin Wallace again and tips off the net and goes out trying, trying to tie it up at 24 now. Baldwin Wallace's last chance to end this first set at 25. And there it is, Baldwin Wallace ends the first set, 25-23. We saw a lot of back and forth. We'll go on a few minute break and we'll be right back with a second set.
All right, so back for the second set after Baldwin Wallace wins the first 25-23. Um, looks like Hunter Haas for trying um, got some tape on his leg there, got taped up during the break there. He is not starting this set, but looks like he may be ready to come back in. Yeah, I think the middle is just served, so he'll go in for the middle once Chine loses the point. Yep. And then first one, one. Off the bottom Wallace tip and out. And that's going to be trying point again. Just wide there. Sight like Haas still warming up or trying to stay loose on the sideline there. There's Michael Beard with the attack. And they kept it alive but couldn't get back to it. Trying on a 3 0 run to start the second set. Looks like we can still see a little limp from Haas, but looks like he's moving a little bit better than the yeah, last set yeah. at least. For sure. That's going to be the first point there for Baldwin Wallace. Blocked by Trine, but goes out. And Hunter Haas back in the game. Serve from Beard, gets the tape and goes over. That's gonna go down as an ace. Yeah, those ones, I mean, when they catch the tape and just roll over, that's, you get lucky there. And being a tennis player in high school and having played in the past, it's the same thing in tennis. Those are like, you know what, I'll take, I'll take the luck. Obviously, yeah. can't do it on a serve like in volleyball, but I mean, back-to-back -back aces now. Yeah. That's Michael Beard for Baldwin Wallace. And three straight points has him right back in it. Back row attack from Boncaro. They keep it alive and get it over. And Baldwin Wallace wins the point. Looks like a little bit of a change of pace and maybe a miss hit there by Boncaro. Yeah. So Beard will continue to serve for the Yellow Jackets. And meet at the net, trying able to keep it alive and Outside of the antenna. Outside of the antenna. Yeah. I mean, when you're when you're at that angle, it's hard, very, Kinda very hard no to put option. that, yeah, in play. Yeah, seeing it from up here, I was like, that one's going to be close. Couldn't see if yeah. it was inside or outside, but it's definitely a hard play to make there. I just feel like we've seen a lot of miscommunication or maybe unclear on where the set's going on trying side of the floor. Yeah, or I sorry, agree. Yeah, trying and then Baldwin Wallace on that one there, but I feel like we've seen it a lot of the time from trying, just unclear on either where the set's going or who's taking it. Right, I agree. But they'll take that point and cut the lead to one. Boncaro, and that one got down. Thought he kept it up for a second. Yeah, it was a close one. I mean, it's up to the line judges on that one to yeah. decide if it was up or down. And trying almost going into the scores table there. Can't keep it alive. I thought he was contemplating going over the table there for a minute, but. Yeah. <laughs> so 
The serve there. Attack from the shrine. That's going to go off the bottom of this block. We are all tied up at six now, trying with the serve. Ted Hoffmeister. That attack is down. I mean, that was a beautiful swing. Yeah, I mean, perfectly placed, good hard swing. I, there's really nothing you can do about that one. That's in the net, right back to trying. For trying, we're gonna see number 22, Ethan McLennan check in. He did a lot of serving against Wittenberg last time they played as well. Comes in to serve here for trying, looking to go on a little bit of a run. 7-7 seven, seven tie. And there's the attack from Beard, and that's going to be a kill for him. The serve goes right back to Baldwin Wallace. It's going to be number two, Nick Ireland, serving. That one close as well. It finds the floor there. I mean, a smart play. Those tips over the block, really, those and those rolls, really seem to be working for both teams. Yeah. We've seen it work plenty of times for both of them, and it's just the change of pace. I think so. Te both teams started off the match hitting so hard that I think the teams have almost committed to that in a way. Yeah. And now we're just seeing back and forth here. No team really taking advantage like we saw in the first set um, early on. And then try and start with that, with the three straight points. But since then, they, Baldwin Wallace tied it up and it's been back and forth since. And that's going to be an ace there for Ted Hoffmeister of Trine. And they'll take a two point lead. Sorry, no. Uh, that is um, Kevin Boncaro serving. Um, but got the ace there. Maybe that gives them a little bit of momentum and they're able to build off that here. Beard goes for the attack and it's blocked but kept up. Trying with another chance. They're just going to get it over. And yeah, ball the wall seems to be losing the momentum here mm -hmm. and Trine has all the momentum right now. I mean, that ball seemed like one that's usually pretty easy for some teams, but yeah. just the bump there was, I mean, he just couldn't get it up. Boncaro will continue to serve for Trine now. And it's gonna be kept alive there by Baldwin Wallace off the block, and then the attack is going to go long. And Baldwin Wallace said that it went off a tip from Trine, but I think the line judge might have called a touch there, but I don't know. It's going to be a timeout for Baldwin Wallace. Yeah, the line judge on the Baldwin Wallace side looked like he called a touch, but then it looked like the two other officials at the net called it trying point. Yeah. So do you know, is there like an overruling thing there? Or? Uh, the up ref is always right. Okay. The, they make the ultimate decision. Or I guess air quotes, always right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they always get the final call. Yeah. So whatever they think is what goes. And if they, it's just how much they trust their line yeah. judges, I and, guess. And especially where the up ref is at and the angle they have, especially on something like a touch. Yeah. It, I mean, they're going to have the best view of it anyways. Yeah. And the up ref and down ref can talk to each other too. So if the down ref saw something, the up ref didn't, they can yeah. talk to each other through their mics. And especially since they had the same call there, I yeah. think that just kind of verifies like, okay, we made the right call here. The both of them saw the same thing, gave the point to try and. Right. 
And of course, for more the line judges, being at the back line and trying to see something that happens at the net isn't always the best angle either. Yeah. So right back in it, Kevin Boncaro serving for Trine, and Trine with the 12 to 8 lead. Baldwin Wallace did take the first set, 25 to 23. And the second set has been very close back and forth the whole time. This is the biggest lead for either team with the four point lead for Trine. And they're gonna keep it going there. And ace again for Boncaro. That's his second one since he has started serving and I think five straight points now. Yeah. Attack from Baldwin Wallace. That's uh, Michael Beard there, and they'll end the streak. We'll get to serve now, still down four. And the attack there from Trine goes long. That was Matt Stillman on the attack. He had a few big plays against Wittenberg when they played last. Attack from Trine, and there's another attack out. Baldwin Wallace slowly but surely finding their way back in this match. It's 13 to 11. They cut the lead in half from when they got the serve. Back row attack from Boncaro, and that's going to be a kill. Trying to able to keep Baldwin Wallace from getting within a point there. That one kept up by the libero there. And that one's gonna find the line. <laughs> Trying back up to a four point lead now and continuing to serve. I mean, like I said earlier, that back row attack really has been working for both these teams today. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw earlier in the match, we had one where Kevin Boncaro for trying hit, I think it was Boncaro for trying three back row attacks in a row and ended up getting the point, but just going back row three straight times. Yeah. And we're gonna get a timeout there from Baldwin Wallace. And we'll be back in about a minute. All right, so after that timeout, we're back to it. As we went to the break, Trine with a five-point lead, 16-11, and going on a bit of a run here. They have served the last four points, and like I said, that lead has grown to five, 16-11. We'll see if Baldwin Wallace, maybe if that timeout, maybe ice the server in a way, or if Trine will continue to run. It's gonna be a free ball for BW. Back row attack. And another back row attack. Gets a point. Yep. 
Serving for Bud Wallace, number four, Brandon Long. Tip just over the block there. And then Baldwin Wallace hits it off the block, but straight down. Yeah, pushed it right in between the blocker scenes and the net. I mean, that's why it's really important as a blocker to go up there and press so you don't get caught in that situation. As we saw Baldwin Wallace do there, they were even with the net and they get the point again. Paul and Wallace closing the lead by trying a little bit here. Yep, just 16 to 14 now. Looking to continue the run. And that attack is out off the, uh, attack is out from Boncaro. And Baldwin Wallace now only down one. And that one just tipped for, by 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 Baldwin Wallace there, trying to get to the point, back up by two. That serve from Stillman there. Back row attack from Trine, kept alive. And in that one, blocked by Trine, and then Baldwin Wallace couldn't keep it up. So Stillman will continue to serve here for the Thunder. And that one's gonna go long. This one seems to be shaping up a lot like last set, getting to about the, like between 16 and 18 point mark. Baldwin Wallace making a little bit of a run to bring it back close. Up there by Baldwin Wallace. That was a great save. And Baldwin Wallace finds a way to finish the point after a little bit of a scramble there. Trying got it back over, and Baldwin Wallace has cut it to one. Try to send it over early. Baldwin Wallace wasn't ready, unable to handle that. I mean, both teams are making great plays in the la this last part of this set. Just a matter of who can keep the momentum and finish off the set. Oh, absolutely, and trying to have a big lead too, and Baldwin Wallace just, Baldwin, Baldwin Wallace just keeps fighting as we see there. Another kill. And uh, looks like we will see this, uh, number 16. 16. It's going to be Marcus Kelly serving here. We've seen him come in to serve a few times, but the times he has served, but will also lose the point, and he'll come right back out of the game. Is the attack there kept alive? Trine sends it down. And they're just barely keeping this lead now. That extends it back to two, 20 to 18. And as we said, Marcus Kelly checks in to serve. Done serving and he's right back out of the game. Baldwin Wallace the attack. Tipped off the block, Boncaro for Trine. That looked like miscommunication too. One guy took it and the other was right behind him diving for it. Yeah. And the one in front took it and there was no one behind him to follow up. Back row attack from Beard. Can't finish. Yeah, it's really important when the other team or your team gets to that 20 point 
range to limit your errors um, mm -hmm. because, you know, you just got to limit those errors to keep you in the game. Yeah, and it gives Trine a 22-18 lead now. And then a block by Trine off the Baldwin Wallace player. They all extend it to five, and it's 23 to 18. The attack from Baldwin Wallace, another block, but they keep it alive. Blocked again. And excellent by both teams to keep the ball alive so far in this point. Back row attack from Beard. Kept up by Trine. Boncaro gets the point. 24-18, Trine Thunder with the lead. This is their chance to even it up at one. And that'll be off of Trine. Baldwin Wallace not going down easily here in the second set. I mean, Baldwin Wallace is in a hard situation here, but I've seen teams mm -hmm. do it before, and there is definitely a chance that they can come back and take this set. Yeah, Baldwin Wallace has to win five straight to get back in it, but we saw him do it uh, uh, just last set. And Trine and, and able to keep that one alive. Baldwin Wallace just keeps fighting. Twenty one Daniel Latham serving. The set and Hoffmeister. And gonna be a free ball here for Trine. Boncaro tries to go down the line, but a little, oh. Touched by the Baldwin Walls blockers. Yep, called a touch by the Baldwin Wallace blockers and goes out. That's going to be trying point. And we are all tied at one. We'll see you back in a bit for the third set.
All right, we're back for the third set between Bowden Wallace and Tryon. We're tied at one right now. Both sets have been extremely close. Um, teams just going back and forth, and then it seems like one team will take a lead, about like a five-point lead or so going in the end, although first set ended 25-23 in favor of Bowden Wallace, and then what, the last one was 25-20, I think? I think, think so, yeah. In favor of Tryon? Hoffmeister blocked but kept alive. Beard, that one's blocked and trying to start off the third set with a point. That one will go to trying again. Try again. Yeah, I mean, last set and now starting this set, Tryon is doing an amazing job putting up a solid block, and it's hard for Baldwin Wallace to hit around it. Yeah, and just like last set, Tryon getting out to an early run with their serves, unable to keep it going there. I know last set it was three, this time ending it yeah. two, but I feel like starting off a set, even with only two points, still gets that momentum going for your team. It's going to be Michael Beard serving for Baldwin Wallace. And that attack is going to be tipped there by Baldwin Wallace, maybe? I think it just rolled across the net and landed in. A little bit of a lucky shot there. Yeah, that, it was definitely very close. I mean, it's just like the serve. If you get a piece of the net, as long as it goes in, that's all that matters yeah, at the end of the day. For sure. Back row attack from Beard. That one's going to go long. Another point to try. And it's going to be Todd. Uh, I'm sorry, Ted Hoffmeister back to serve. And um, oh, what a play by trying to keep that alive and get it back over. Two players dive and it gets over, but the free ball for Baldwin Wallace helps them get the kill there. Incredible effort by trying, yeah. but just too easy there for Baldwin Wallace getting the free ball. So it's going to be Marcus Kelly back in to serve. I mean, being a serving sub is an important role. Got to make sure you come in and serve a ball over the net and in. I feel like every time we've seen him so far, it's one serve. Try and gets the point, and he's right back out, though. Yeah. I mean, he's got them all in, but they're unable to take advantage and win the point. And that one would have dropped out, but Trine keeps it alive. There's an attack from Baldwin Wallace. Trine with another chance. And there's, uh, I kind of want to start counting the times that Kelly comes in and they don't win the point because I think we're at least at six right now. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of nothing he can do. I mean, he gets the serve in, he does what needs to be right, done, yeah, but they just can't job, finish yeah. the attack. I'm trying to think if we have anyone that does that for Wittenberg. I think the one that comes to mind right now is, like more recently, is uh, Andrew Diaz de Padilla. I know that he comes in. He'll usually play a rotation, but he usually comes in when he's, it's his turn to serve. Yeah. Big float serve there. And Baldwin Wallace wins the point. Yeah. 
Jackson Boncaro. That's going to be a kill for him. Try and point. Going across the court, down the line. And Boncaro is going to follow up that kill by going back to serve. Good set there from Barbara Wallace and a very hard attack. Yeah, amazing play. I feel like there might have been a miscommunication with Trine's blockers there as the middle might have pulled the blocker and only left the outside with one blocker. Barbara Wallace with the block. Trine can't keep it up. attack there that'll get the point for trying and they will go back to serve once again three-point lead in Trine's favor eight to five back row attack try and keeps it alive Baldwin Wallace gets to it Back row attack, successful for Trine. Again, that back row attack, proving time and time again to be super successful for both of these teams. And we've already seen a ton more, I feel like, than we've seen in other matches this year. But, uh, I mean, like you said, keeps working for both of them. So, it's just going to keep happening. And Bob Wallace answers with a point of their own there. back to try and that's one of those serv those service errors that you can't have you get the ball back like a team like try and goes on a run you get the ball back you got to be able to get those serves in and at least give your team a chance to come back yeah some pairs meet at the net back row attack yeah. and that'll be Bob Wallace point yeah again in between the hands of the blocker and the net And that is off the bottom Wallace block and out. <laughs> Tipped over a little bit of a change of pace. And it's gonna be was that a lift? Yeah, he kind of like took that ball and threw it. So if I was that upper, if I would make the same call. I'm surprised I got that. I know a lift's a call, and the hand up kind of gave me a hint, but I was like, oh. Uh. There we go, but Boncaro comes back that time. and Or wait, what's the call here? My best guess would be a little bit of some unsportsmanlike comment, um, and the ref said something to him, but I don't know for sure yeah. from up here. I, I think, I mean, my only guess would have been Boncaro after getting the lift call and then putting that one down, but yeah. I, I couldn't, obviously up here couldn't tell for sure. But it seemed like he did say something, but I didn't see anything directed at anyone in particular, and there's Boncaro with the kill again. And that's going to be a timeout for Baldwin Wallace as they're down five. We'll be back with you in a minute.
All right, and here we are after that timeout. It is going to be number 14 for Trine. Ted Hoffmeister going back to serve. They have a five point lead over Baldwin Wallace here in the third set of the first semifinal match at the MCVO tournament hosted here at Wittenberg University in Springfield, Ohio. Looks like the timeout might have worked. Hoffmeister serves into the net and we see Marcus Kelly come back in for Baldwin Wallace looking to get that serve again. Another good serve from Kelly. And Baldwin Wallace can't keep it alive and once again will lose the point as Kelly comes in to serve. My count now is at seven times that he's came in and his serves have looked really good. Yeah. I mean, especially that one there, hard right in the middle, but trying just able to attack well when he's on the court, I guess, he just hasn't been able to capitalize. And that attack is out for trying. Another point to Baldwin Wallace. And it's happening again. One team gets to that 14, 15 point range and the other team starts to make a little bit of a run. Still only one point difference from what the score was a little bit ago, but always could change with a few good serves. That one's gonna be tipped at the net, but kept alive here for Baldwin Wallace. Back row attack from Michael Beard, kept up by Haas. And that's a double there. Point will go to Baldwin Wallace. Another trying player getting up a little gingerly. That's Hoffmeister, but looks to be okay. Seems like he ran into um, a front row player on that back row attack. And that's sort of very long. For Baldwin Wallace, so that'll end the run very quickly. 15 to 11, trying with the lead. It's going to be Boncaro back to serve. There's the attack, but kept up. Boncaro back row attack, and there's going to be another successful back row attack from Trine. drops between Hoffmeister and Boncaro. Um, I mean, nothing they could really do about that one, just put right in between them in a pretty hard attack there. Yeah. It's gonna go back to Baldwin Wallace now, looking to cut this lead. And that's a trying point off the Baldwin Wallace block, trying, not giving him a chance to cut that lead. Beard gets it over, and Trine gives it right back in the attack. That'll go down for Michael Beard. And it's gonna be, is that number 13 yeah, they're 13. serving? It's gonna be Josh Steinitz, a sophomore middle hitter out of Towson, Maryland. Another back row attack from Boncaro. And another successful one at that. Lead up to five, 18, 13. Trying with the lead and that serve got outside of the antenna there. Yeah. Just a bit wide. So we're right back to Baldwin Wallace. Four point deficit here for them. Attack there from Hoffmeister, but the block from Baldwin Wallace. 
Yeah, that definitely had to be a good confidence boost um, because the last few points here, Baldwin Wallace has made a quite a few blocking errors. And then can't keep the run going, serve into the net there, and that'll really kill a run. I mean, you see it so often, the team can go, I mean, even, I mean, you can go five serves, hit one in the net, and it can completely flip the script. But yeah. we've seen Baldwin Wallace a few times, they'll get a good point. Like you said, their block must have been a confidence boost and then serve into the net. And a back row attack there. Back row attack there from Trine. Ref started to call it in, um, but looks like it didn't hit the floor until it got to him, ended up being out. Yeah. I mean, hard to, <laughs> hard to make a call when the ball's coming at you that fast. Right, right. I mean, at that point, I think I'm trying to protect myself <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> yeah, and watch it, yeah. Because I saw the flag go down, but it definitely didn't hit until it got out to where his feet are. And that one is going to be long. So maybe this is the run that Baldwin Wallace was looking for. They've cut it to two. It's 17-19 now, and Michael Beard will continue to serve. Possibly some miscommunication there from Trine. Yeah, maybe. And that's Baldwin Wallace cuts it to one. Trine's going to call a timeout, and we'll be right back in a minute. All right, back again. Baldwin Wallace has trimmed the try and lead to one. 18 to 19, Michael Beard serving for the Yellow Jackets, seeing if they can draw even here. And that one says it's off a tip and out. Baldwin Wallace ties his second set at 19 apiece. Yeah, it looks like they just need to adjust the antenna, antenna yeah. there. All right, so right back to it. Michael Beard to serve for Baldwin Wallace. He served, I think, the last five points. I believe so, yeah. Because I think there they won four or five in a row to draw even. Now we're gonna see who can get the lead and keep it to the end of the set here. And that is going to be trying point. Hoffmeister puts it down and he'll go back to serve now. Yeah. 
And another good attack from Baldwin Wallace, and they'll tie it up at 20 now. I mean, now it's just a game to five right here. Yep. Who can finish off this set. And the way they've been going, I can definitely see it going past five. Yeah. I mean, usually when we get to this point, a team has had a clear lead. I know like Baldwin Wallace, the first set, got a lead and then trying drew close, wasn't able to get the set and ended up losing 25-23. But I feel like usually at this point, one of the teams has a pretty good lead, but here all tied up, trying gets the point there. And number 22, Ethan McLennan comes in to serve. Seems like some more miscommunication from trying and then yeah. four touches over there on that side of the net as well. So tied once again, this time at 21. And we are going to see, did you see 24? Um, I'm not sure from this angle. Those numbers. 21. 21. So that was Daniel Latham. That one's gonna go long, and the serve will go back to Trine. It's gonna be Kevin Boncaro. Yeah, I mean, this has really been back and forth these last few couple points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tied it up at 20, and no one is able to get more than a one-point lead. The attack blocked, but kept up by Baldwin Wallace. Back row attack. And Trine gets it over, sent right back by Baldwin Wallace. Trine again blocked, but out. Trine will now take a two point lead, 23 21, and Baldwin Wallace is going to talk it over as he gets close to the end of, this, end of the third set. And we'll be right back with you. All right, trying just two points away from taking their second of the first three sets. Baldwin Wallace trying to hold on to take the lead in their favor. Kevin Boncaro serving for the Thunder. And that'll be an ace. 24-21, trying just one away from taking their second set. Boncaro will serve here, going for the set win. And that one's just a little too hard, goes long. It's gonna be 24-22 for Baldwin Wallace to still have a chance in this one. They need to win these next two points just to extend this set. And not the greatest set I've ever seen, but great job by trying to get it back over. Wow, great hustle by Baldwin Wallace to keep it alive. Yeah, Baldwin Wallace keeps it alive. It is going to be a free ball for Trine. And they put it down. Trine wins the third set. That will give them the 2-1 lead. And we'll be back in about three minutes to bring you set four of this MCVL semifinal.
All right, and we're ready to go here. Set number four. Trine leads two to one, looking to finish this off before going to a fifth, while Baldwin Wallace is just trying to stay alive and take it to a fifth. Baldwin Wallace took the first set 25-23, and then Trine won 25-20 and 25-22. So they are on a little bit of a run here. See, see if they can go three straight. The winner of this match will play the winner of our upcoming match here, Wittenberg and Mount Union. There's a serve to start off our fourth set here. And the attack into the net. Jumbi trying point. And Matt Stillman will continue to serve here. Another attack kept up by Trine. And that one able to find the corner. That's number 14, Ted Hoffmeister on the attack. And that's an ace from Stillman. 3-0, try and lead to start the fourth set. Yeah, lots of errors here by Baldwin Wallace mm -hmm. early on in this set. Might be feeling a little bit of the pressure down two sets to one. Yeah. There's the attack and that's blocked. Number 21, Carl Both and Baldwin Wallace down 4-0 calls the timeout. All right, back after the Baldwin Wallace timeout. Matt Stillman continue to serve. It will be his fifth serve in a row. Uh, he started serving this set and it is 4-0 trying. Can they keep it going? Back row attack from Baldwin Wallace, but Trine keeps it alive. Back row attack from Trine doesn't go, and the attack from Barton Wallace not able to get down. Another back row from Brancaro, and he's gonna get it to go. Trine again with another point, and they extend the lead to five. Stillman, another powerful serve there. Blocked there, and it's going to fall in. Baldwin Wallace gets their first point of this fourth set. It is five to one. Back to serve now for Baldwin Wallace is number three, Peyton Reed. He'll be a serving sub for the Yellow Jackets. And sent over on the set. Trine will get the point and go right back to serving. It's going to be number 10, Nick Woolley. Uh, All MCVL honorable mention this season. 
the senior setter from Plainfield, Illinois. And that one's gonna find the back corner. Right back to Baldwin Wallace. Saw 21, Daniel Latham serving for the Yellow Jackets. And that's set just a little behind the attacker there. And Hoffmeister not able to keep it in. So Baldwin Wallace will continue to serve as they try to stay alive and chip away at this lead here. And that one goes over. Back row attack from Baldwin Wallace and they got it. It's Daniel Latham, the server, using his height at 6'2", to put that one down. Latham, a freshman from Westerville, Ohio. That one kept up, but goes over, and then Baldwin Wallace can't control it. That's gonna be trying point number 21. Carl both there, and going back to serve now for trying is Ted Hoffmeister. As I said earlier, uh, first team all MCVL this year. And back row there. Can't get the pancake down in time. That's gonna be Baldwin Wallace point. I mean, again, Baldwin Wallace is chipping at this try and lead. Um, I mean, I feel like ever since the first set, that's all they've been doing really is chipping away at Trine's lead. Yeah, Trine has always started <laughs> off with a run of a few points. I mean, this set five nothing. Yeah. I think four nothing or five nothing to start out, um, and it's back to seven six. And it seems like Baldwin Wallace will get back, and then it'll go back and forth, back and forth until Trine takes the lead at the end yeah. again. like just miscommunication there and that's going to mean Baldwin Wallace ties it at seven. I feel like we never get out of the single digits without a tie at some point. Yeah. There's always been one early and then one team pulls away usually being trying and that serve is going to go long. Eight to seven trying. They're going to make a couple subs. Looks like we have number 22 Ethan McLennan coming in to serve. There's the attack, hits the scoreboard, but Trine's gonna get it over, blocked. Off right his back. shoulder. Yep. But they get it over to Baldwin Wallace, and that's gonna be number 18, Matt Stillman and number 20, Kevin Boncaro, combining there for the block. That attack goes into the net. And trying first of these two teams into double digits here in the fourth set, 10 to seven. And McLennan will continue to serve. And that's into the net, right back to BW. Boncaro going, blocked back to the trying side. They'll attack again. Baldwin Wallace controls it, a back row attack. Kept up there by trying, but unable to possess it well enough to go for another attack. It's gonna be Baldwin Wallace point. And just like before, just a one point deficit.
Kept up there by Bartle Rollis. The attack from Beard, that falls. All tied at 10. That was a great shot down the line. Right outside the blocker's hands. Just barely able to avoid the block and keep it down the line at the same time. Another back row attack from Baldwin Wallace and he'll get it down. They take a one point lead now, 11 to 10. Back row attack from Trine now. Blocked by Baldwin Wallace. And that's gonna cause Trine to call a timeout. Baldwin Wallace with a two point lead. All right, so back into the fourth set. Bottom Wallace with a two-point lead, 12 to 10 against Trine. Went on a little bit of a run there to get the lead. Now we're going to see if Trine can answer, if Bottom Wallace will continue to build that. There's the attack down. Trine gets the point, stops the run. It's going to be just a one-point deficit now as Kevin Bencaro goes back to serve for the Thunder. Yeah, it was important for trying to come out of that timeout and get that point back if they want to gain this lead back. Yeah, Baldwin Wallace took the lead or tied the game up and then continued to build the lead a, a little bit uh, after trying got a good lead. So just trying to tie it up here, back row attack. Baldwin Wallace keeps it alive. Beard on the attack and that's gonna be kept up by trying once again and they do just barely get it over. Beard again is blocked. And Beard attacking once again. That one's gonna fall. Michael Beard, three different attacks there. Does get the last one to fall right in the middle of the trine side of the court. Yeah, I mean, if you hit it over and they get it dig, try something different. Uh, try and attack. Beard again, that one falls. Michael Beard with another one. Michael Beard. Again with a block. What was that, I think three straight points. He's got for Baldwin Wallace now, and he'll go back to serve to try to extend the lead. Yeah. And into the net. So the three straight <laughs> kills there. Um, ends with a service error, but Baldwin Wallace does have a 15 to 12 lead. 
He's going to go back to trying for the serve now to try to get back in control of this set. Attack from Bottle Wallace. The change of pace gets him the point. That's number 21. Um, Daniel Latham again. Once again, freshman from Westerville. He's called his name a lot this match as, just as, as just a freshman this year. Back row attack. Great hustle play. And they get to it and still make a solid attack and it's gonna drop. Trying, putting the effort to get to that ball and are able to come away with the point. It's gonna be 18, Matt Stillman serving again for the Thunder. That one's going to go long, right back to Baldwin Ross. A chance for Baldwin Ross to start building some momentum here. With a four point lead, 17 13 here in the fourth set. Trying to tie it up at two and take this to a fifth. There's the serve. And the attack there. Number 14, Ted Hoffmeister will get the point and it's gonna send back number 10, Nick Woolley to serve for Trine as they cut the lead back down to three and try to chip away at it even more. Attack from Baldwin Wallace, but Pancake keeps the ball up and they get it over here. A hard angle to get a good attack from, but Kevin Bencaro with the block. Cuts the lead to two. Woolley will continue to serve for Trine. Oh, and brief pause, we have a kid on the court. <laughs> There's a serve for Woolley. Attack from Baldwin Wallace, kept right up. up by Haas. New attack, that'll get down. That's number 21 again, Daniel Latham, as he'll go back to serve. An 18 to 15 lead for Baldwin Wallace. And Haas, as we saw earlier, just gets out of the way, jumps to the floor to get out of the way of that serve as it goes long. And we're going to see number 14, uh, Ted Hoffmeister here serving for Trine. Kept alive there. Set for Ben Carroll. And that'll be Trine point. They've cut it to one, 18-17. We're just seeing Hunter Haas end up on the ground a lot. That yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Another serve from Hoffmeister. And the attack, change of pace, kept up. Back row attack here, Hoffmeister on it. And Tron will tie it up at 18. And that's gonna be another timeout for Baldwin Wallace. We're all tied up at 18, and they're gonna have to talk it over. We'll be back after this short break.
All right, fourth set, all tied at 18. Trying with a 2-1 lead. Baldwin Wallace trying to stay alive, trying, trying to end it here. And that will go long. Winner of this match will be in the MCVO Championship tomorrow at three against the winner of Wittenberg and Mount Union coming up later. Good serve there from Baldwin Wallace. The attack from Shrine. That's gonna go off Baldwin Wallace and we will stay tied this time at 19. And it looks like for Trine number 22, Ethan McLennan coming in again as a serving sub. Trying to get Trine the lead, put him, give him an advantage in the set here. Looks like off the yeah, chest. Barely kept alive there. Back row attack from Baldwin Wallace. And that's gonna fall in another back row attack. From one of the teams in a successful one. Baldwin Wallace will take the one point lead and go back to serve. Off the tape, uh, attack from Shrine, but Baldwin Wallace able to keep it alive. And the attack there, that's off the block and out. That is Michael Beard. As Baldwin Wallace takes a two point lead, 21 19. Baldwin Wallace will continue to serve here, looking to extend the lead and finish out the set. Bancaro. And was that outside of the antenna there, maybe? Um, I'm a little confused about that play, that call right there. I'm not exactly sure on the pursuit rules for men's volleyball because it's a little different than women's. I do remember we saw one earlier in the season, Andrew Diaz de Padilla for Wittenberg dove under the net. I don't know if you have yeah. to leave before the line, maybe. Not sure how that works. Um, but that point does go to Trine and can't quite keep it up. It's going to be a 22-20 lead for Baldwin Wallace now is number four. Brandon Long will do the serving. And that's going to be point for trying. They're staying in it. It's 21-22, trying with the serve. Both teams fighting tooth and nail to stay in this. Baldwin Wallace just trying to send it to a fifth. Trying, trying to end it after this set. And that block is going to go out. Another two point lead for Baldwin Wallace. It'll be Michael Beard serving 23-21. Yellow Jackets with the lead. Served by Beard. The set, attack, and Hoffmeister will get it to go down. Another one, and the lead cut to one again. Yeah, that was a tricky shot right there, right into zone four. It's going to be Matt Stillman serving now for the Thunder. Attack from Baldwin Wallace goes down. That'll put him at 24. 24 to 22. Baldwin Wallace lead. Serving to take it to a fifth set. Keep the chances alive. Going to be Peyton Reed in the serve for the Yellow Jackets. There's the attack, Ben Carroll gets it down. 23-24. And it'll be number 10, Nick Woolley, to serve for trying to stay in this set. Stay alive. Here comes the attack. 
And we're going to a fifth set. Michael Beer with the kill. And we will see you in just a couple of minutes to bring you the fifth set from Pam Evans Smith Arena. All right, semifinal one of the night between Trine and Baldwin Wallace heading to a fifth set, so they will play to 15. This will decide who goes to the MCVO championship tomorrow. Bancaro starting the serve for Trine. And another time, Hunter Haas hits the ground to avoid the ball that goes out. So Bancaro will continue to serve. Hunter Haas coming back from some type of knee injury um, in the first set there, but seems to be moving around okay on it and a lot more comfortable than he was when he went down. That one's going to be out from trying, so Baldwin Wallace will tie it at one, and that'll send Michael Beard back to serve. Back row attack from Bancaro. Kept alive by Baldwin Wallace. And keeping the attack up. Another back row attack, that time from Hoffmeister. And that falls. In this fifth set, it's important um, to not let the other team get a too large of a lead because you don't have much time to get it back as it's only to 15. 
Yeah, this is the first time I think we haven't seen either team get out to like a 2-0 or 3-0 lead to start off. But with that, Trine gets a two-point lead now and Baldwin Wallace has to stay in it. And kept up by Trine, but that goes out. So Baldwin Wallace will stay alive, 2-3. And it'll be a serve sub here for Baldwin Wallace. Number three, Peyton Reed, the senior from Hilliard, went to Hilliard Darby High School. Attack from Hoffmeister sent right back to the trying side, but they're able to get it back over. And then number 10, Nick Woolley. Goes right back to Baldwin Wallace and will get the point. So Woolley gets the kill and will go back to serve. Baldwin Wallace. Trying with the opportunity here. Baldwin Wallace can't get it up. That's going to be number 21. Carl both getting the kill. And it will still, and now it is Matt Stillman serving. Back row attack. Trying keeps it alive. Back Another row back row again, attack. Yeah. Then back row from Trine, and that falls. That's a four point lead, six to two. Timeout, Baldwin Wallace. We now see some Wittenberg players down there on the floor. It looks like waiting for this match to end. Uh, see Michael Yurk, Matt Girardi, Jake Downs, Trajan Kress, Moose Harper, Kurt Klamfoth. And I'm missing one. Can't quite catch who that is. All right, so after that Baldwin Wallace timeout, Trine comes out with a four point lead, six to two here in this fifth set, once again playing to 15. So this four point lead is huge. Baldwin Wallace has to stop the bleeding before it gets out of control. Blocked by Baldwin Wallace. They stop the run, gain control. It's gonna be number 21, Daniel Latham, going back to serve for Baldwin Wallace. Can the freshman handle the pressure? What a serve, it's gonna be an ace for Latham. The lead has been cut to two now. And that's going to be outside, or outside hit the, the antenna. antenna, outside the antenna. Yeah. Another Baldwin Wallace point, and they've came all the way back to cut it to one, six to five. Back row attack from Trine, kept alive from Baldwin Wallace. And it'll be set over early, and that'll hit the antenna. 
Shrine Point, they lead by two now, and we're gonna see number 10, Nick Woolley serving now. Said Woolley earlier, it was actually Stillman serving for Trine. There's the attack from Baldwin Wallace, kept alive by Trine. The set, attack. And that is going to be Baldwin Wallace point. I'm not sure what happened the antenna, there. Tenna, but. Yep, called Baldwin Wallace point there. Uh, looks like they called that it was outside or hit the antenna there. And uh, for another time, Hunter Haas hits the ground to avoid the ball going out. And as they switch sides, Tryon will take an eight to six lead here in set number five. So number 14, Ted Hoffmeister serving now for Trine. Seven points away, over halfway to winning this set. But Baldwin Wallace not too far behind with six points of their own. Back row attack, won't go. Another attack, blocked. That's number 21, Carl Both with the block. And it's gonna go back to Trine Hoffmeister to continue serving. Both a 6'7 freshman from Lombard, Illinois. That's blocked. Bottom wall said we keep it alive. Back row attack. And that one's long. Trine already to double digits. And Bowden Wallace will use their second timeout. Score is 10 to 6. Trying with the lead. Bowden Wallace won the first set, 23-25. Trying won the second, um, 25 to 20. Trying won the third, 25-22. And then Baldwin Wallace won the last one, 25-23. And already a four-point lead here for Trine. Seem pretty loose, players dancing over there in the huddle. We're gonna see if Baldwin Wallace can come back and make this third set even closer, or if Trine's gonna run away with it. It's gonna be Trine with the serve, and it will be Ted Hoffmeister serving their MCVL first team player. Baldwin Wallace just looking to stay alive at this point. And the Trine players pumping up the fans. It's pretty good volume for the amount of fans that are here. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. There's still a lot of game left, so we'll see yep. what, how Baldwin Wallace responds out of this timeout. And definitely can completely flip it. We've seen plenty of times teams go on five, six, seven point runs, and that could be the start of one for Baldwin Wallace. That's gonna go down. Beard with the attack, and that's a block. Kevin Bancaro. 6'3", Jr. from Rochester, New York. That'll be 12-7, try and lead. Back row attack. Kept alive by Trine. Bancaro goes for it again, and that's another kill. Trine now just two points away from advancing to the final tomorrow. Still waiting to see if they will play Mount Union or Wittenberg. If they can keep this going, but the serve is into the net. 
Baldwin Wallace stays alive. And we're gonna see number four, Brandon Long, senior setter from Matea Valley, Illinois, serving. And there is the point for trying off of the Baldwin Wallace block. 14-8 is match point here. Bancaro serving for the Thunder. Hard serve, kept up, attack. And that's blocked and it goes off of Baldwin Wallace player. Trine will advance to the final. They will be playing tomorrow at three. They'll play the winner of Mount Union and Winburg. That we will have here on the Tiger Sports Network once again for Grant Martin and Ava Golem and our producer Cliff. We'll be back for that match coming up here shortly.